What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is Kyle for a while here and in this video I'm going to be describing the best baits that you can use to catch sheep's head. Um, I've been targeting these fish for a while now and I have a pretty good idea of their, their favorite diets and I just wanted to share this information with all of you and I hope you guys can catch a lot more sheep's head with this video. So if you guys are new here make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have all types of you know sheep's head fishing videos on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. I do anything from kayak fishing to surf fishing for pompano. I do all types of fishing so subscribe and uh, if this video helped you guys out in any way or if it does help you out in any way make sure to hit the like button. So let's go ahead and get into it. Number one uh, my, my personally my favorite bait that I like to use for sheep's head is definitely going to have to be the fiddler crab. Now this is probably the most popular bait uh, by choice whenever people are targeting sheep's head is the fiddler crab. The fiddler crab works absolutely great for sheep's head. So yeah, the fiddler crab is very, very good. Um, it's probably one of my favorite baits. It's, it is my favorite bait to use for sheep's head. I have the best luck catching sheep's head on fiddler crabs. Um, they're very hardy. They stay alive a long time if you're you know, using the right size hook. If you use a hook that's too big, you can kill them. So try to go small on your hook whenever you're using uh, fiddler crabs. But fiddler crabs are probably my favorite bait to use for sheep's head. And that's probably the most popular one among anglers out there that are targeting sheep's head is going to be the fiddler crabs. So number two, let's get on to number two. Uh, number two bait would have to be oysters. Now, I have personally only used oysters a couple of times, especially for sheep's head. And I have caught a good amount of sheep's head on oysters. Uh, I just primarily use fiddler crabs, but I have heard and seen, and I've done it personally, I have used oysters, and I have had a lot of luck using oysters for sheep's head. Now, some people are confused, you know, they don't know to like, you know, if they're supposed to use a piece of the shell as bait or the actual oyster itself. Um, you can do a little bit of both. Primarily, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the actual oyster, like the gooey part. Uh, the only bad thing about oysters is the fact that, you know, it's very prone to being bitten off the hook by pinfish and other small fish that aren't sheep's head. And it's a very, very fragile bait, meaning that it falls off the hook very easily. So um, if you do use it, uh, you know, just be, be cautious. Try to fish in the area that, you know, you primarily have your sheep's head. And that's your, you know, you're going to be able to stay away from the bait fish. But other than that, um, I have seen people keep a little piece of the shell and actually thread their hook through the shell along with the soft part of the oyster so that way it kind of helps keep the soft part of the oyster on but uh number two would definitely have to be oysters um i have like i said i have had luck with oysters i just primarily like to use the fiddler crabs instead so the third spot is going to go to uh, shrimp now in this video right here i, I have um i think of dead shrimp um personally i would use live shrimp for sheep's head but i only have a thing of dead shrimp with me so that's that's what i'm going to use primarily i would like to use live shrimp for sheep's head um I tell you what, I, in my area, we, we really don't have a whole lot of luck on shrimp with sheep's head for some reason. I know that down south in uh, Florida, people catch sheep's head on uh, shrimp, but for some reason in my area, you know, sheep's head just really do not like the shrimp. They're, they're primarily like the fiddler crabs and the oysters, but shrimp is definitely a good bait for sheep's head. I've seen, and I personally have caught sheep's head on shrimp as well. But just definitely not nearly as beneficial as the uh, fiddler crab or the oyster. But shrimp do work, especially if you're in an area where you know there's a lot of sheep's head and it's just primarily sheep's head and not a lot of um, you know bait fish or pinfish like that to steal your bait. So that would definitely have to be number three would be a uh, live shrimp. I have seen a lot of people catch sheep's head on live shrimp, so that's definitely gonna have to be number three. So number four, number four would have to be mussels now for some reason around here um in pensacola florida we don't use mussels for sheep's head at all but whenever you get up north to like new jersey north carolina um people swear by this that mussels are really really good uh, you know baits for sheep's head i personally have never used mussels for bait but from what i've seen on uh, videos on youtube is people catch sheep's head on mussels all the time or you can go search out fishing for sheep's head with mussels and you know videos will come up with people catching a lot of sheep's head on these mussels and mussels are um, i'm going to show a little clip right here of the mussel uh, it's kind of hard to see but basically it's like a it's almost like a small clam looking um it's like a small looking oyster except it's like you know it's got a more definite shape and it's a uh, more symmetrical and these things get pretty big. You primarily find them in you know areas that have a lower salinity, kind of like in you know, brackish water, fresh water. 
kind of area. But um, these work phenomenal uh, from what I've heard for Sheep's Head. Um, there's actually a video on YouTube from a guy named Jigging with Jerry. And uh, he actually makes a video of how to hook these muscles. He makes a video on how to hook the muscles and he, made, he did a really, really good job with the video. So if you want to check it out, there's a video of him explaining how you hook the muscles and all that. And uh, it's a phenomenal video and it really describes how people fish with uh, muscles for sheep's head. It's really, really cool. I definitely want to try these baits here soon for sheep's head. Is, uh, I definitely want to try muscles. So yeah, that's basically all the baits when it comes to sheep's head fishing that I could recommend for you. Um, there are some other baits out there that people swear by it that you know work really, really well. And those are you know barnacles. People will actually scrape the barnacles off of uh, oysters and the pylons and they'll use those as bait. Uh, people will use squid sometimes. Uh, I've actually seen people you know catch sheep's head on crankbaits, which is crazy. Uh, so it's 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 absolutely you know crazy what these like the variety of uh, this this fish's diet is, but primarily I would definitely recommend number one being the fiddler crab, number two being the oysters, number three being the shrimp, and number four being the mussels. So those are the four top baits that I can recommend um, all of you guys to use. Is those baits right there? They work phenomenal. Um, primarily, I would recommend using the fiddler crab. The fiddler crabs are probably by far my favorite, and I feel like they work the best. So give those a try. And I hope this video helped you all out in uh, some sort of way. Uh, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell. I do all sorts of kayak fishing. You know, I catch tons of sheep out of my kayak. There's plenty of videos that you guys can watch. If you guys did enjoy the video and if it helped you out, leave a like. And I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.